What's up guys? In today's short video, I'm just going to show you guys how to make a MetaMask wallet. Now, MetaMask is one of the many options for an Ethereum wallet for your cryptocurrency that you've got online. And it's going to allow you to link it to websites such as OpenSea.io, individual NFT project pages, all sorts of other NFT related websites and services. So this kind of thing is going to be really important. MetaMask is just one of your options. So we're going to be going over how to set up other accounts for other services in future videos. But for this one, we're just doing MetaMask. So let's see how it's done. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is look up MetaMask, all one word like that. It's the first option here. You're gonna click download now and install MetaMask for Chrome. Click the Add to Chrome button to add the MetaMask extension to your browser. And there you go, you can see the little icon here, that means it's installed. It's going to automatically open up this page here that says Welcome to MetaMask. And we're going to click Get Started. We're going to click Create a Wallet if this is our first account here agree to these terms or uh, deny those terms, either one, it's just a privacy thing. And for this, uh, since this is just gonna be a throwaway account for the video, I'm just gonna put, you know, whatever for the password. You agree to the terms of use, click create. And here we're going to get some information on the secret recovery phrase. Now, the secret recovery phrase is basically a set of words in a specific order that can function as your recovery password or your primary way of importing your MetaMask wallet when you need to switch to another computer or service. Or if you've just uninstalled the extension and then reinstalled it, you're going to need your secret recovery phrase to be able to get back into your wallet. So here you can see things like save it in a password manager, store it in a bank vault, store it in a safe deposit box, write it down and store it in multiple secret places. I mean, the more secure you can make it, the better, because this is going to be a really, really important thing to keep safe. You're going to want it on physical media or put it on your phone or something like that, not just some file on your desktop or something that can easily be accessed by someone who's looking over you or hacked your PC or just has access to it, something like that, because this is going to be their gateway, their key basically into, into taking things from your wallet here. So you want to make that as difficult for other people as possible. Knowing your secret recovery phrase is really important. So here, if you click to reveal the words, it'll show you your secret recovery phrase. So you can write it down or type it down or what have you. I'm obviously not going to reveal this one, even though this is a, a test account for the video. So I'm gonna click remind me later. Here you have a little news bulletin and really that's it. Now we have our account here. We can see account one, how much Ethereum we have, which is obviously since we just made it zero. If we go to the account details, we can, you know, rename the account, you know, and now the account has a name. If we go over to OpenC, then we can click on this account button right here and link our MetaMask wallet. It's going to bring up the little window for MetaMask. Here's our name Namerson account here with a check mark next to it. If you have multiple accounts, you can select which one specifically you want to link right at that moment. We're going to click next, going to click connect, and it's going to connect our wallet. And now our MetaMask wallet account name namerson is connected to OpenSea, and we can begin using the OpenSea service that's all we've got for today if you liked the video be sure to leave a like and maybe even comment down below we read every single one of them and love to see your feedback if you want to be kept up 
with our uploads and kept in the loop whenever we do anything, please subscribe and click on that notification bell. That'll give you a notification every single time we have a new upload. And until next time, peace.